This is an amphitheater wall in Pozzuoli inside the Campi Flegrei caldera, and this wall is cracking. Not from age, not from weather, but from the ground underneath it slowly rising and shifting, like something large is pushing upward from below. And that's not even the strangest part. Homes nearby are heating up. Residents say their walls feel warm to the touch. Some describe it like a radiator. Others say it's like their plaster is slowly melting. No one wants to imagine what could make a home heat up from the inside. But in Campi Flegre, the answer is never simple. Because this isn't just a neighborhood. This is a volcanic caldera, one of the most dangerous on Earth, and people are living directly inside it. Every step you take here is on top of a restless system that has shaped, lifted, cracked, and shaken this land for thousands of years. Most people hear volcano and picture a mountain. Campi Flegre is the opposite, a giant bowl a collapsed superstructure left behind by ancient explosions so massive they flattened the landscape. When you stand in Pozzuoli, the hills around you aren't hills at all. They are the fractured edges of an ancient crater. The streets, the houses, the schools, the restaurants, they sit on the inside of that bowl. So when something deep underground starts to move, shift, heat, or expand, everything built above it reacts. Cracks appear. Roads warp, old walls split open like eggshells, and right now, those signs are beginning to multiply. Underground, the caldera is pushing upward again. Scientists call it bradycism, the slow, quiet lifting of the ground caused by pressure, gas, and heat rising from deep below. It doesn't happen all at once. It happens silently, centimeter by centimeter, week by week. But over years, that adds up. In Pazuli alone, the Earth has lifted more than a full meter since the early 2000s. Picture the ground beneath your entire neighborhood rising like it's breathing. And as it lifts, the ancient Roman amphitheater isn't the only thing cracking. Houses split, floor tiles rise and pop, doors stick so tightly they have to be shaved down to close, residents wake up to fine lines creeping through their walls like veins under the skin. And more unsettling than the cracks is the heat. People are reporting something that even longtime locals say they've never experienced. Warm houses. Not from sunlight, not from appliances, but from the structure itself. A couple in the Rioni Terra district said their bedroom wall felt alive, as if something behind it was radiating warmth. Another resident said her basement tiles softened after a week of constant micro tremors, like they were being warmed from underneath. When buildings heat up from below, it isn't normal. But here, it makes sense, because beneath Pozzuoli lies a massive hydrothermal system, a maze of hot water, pressurized steam, volcanic gases, and superheated rock. As pressure rises under the caldera, these fluids migrate upward, finding new pathways, forcing themselves through fractures, heating the ground, the foundation, and eventually the walls of homes. Only a short walk away at the Picciarelli fumarol field, the land looks like something from another planet. Steam bursts from vents with a roar, pools of boiling mud bubble like liquid stone. The air carries a constant smell of sulfur. And this isn't deep in the wilderness. This is next to sidewalks, apartment blocks, and parked cars. People walk their dogs past places where the soil is hot enough to soften asphalt. Children ride bikes near steaming vents. The land here breathes loudly, visibly, and unpredictably. When Piciarelli gets more active, people feel it in their homes. The heat travels, the ground swells, the cracks widen, everything is connected. The earthquakes in Campi Flegre are small but relentless. Sometimes they come in swarms, dozens of tiny shakes in a single day. Most are so weak that instruments detect them better than people can feel them. But the danger isn't their strength, it's their frequency. These microquakes are the volcano adjusting itself, stretching, fracturing the crust a little more each time, testing the limits of the rock above the pressure. When the crust weakens, gas finds new paths. When gas finds new paths, heat rises. When heat rises, the surface deforms. This is the chain reaction scientists watch with the closest attention. It's not dramatic like an eruption, but it's just as significant. Pozzuoli has always lived with Bradycism. In the 1,980 seconds 
The ground rose so fast that tens of thousands of people had to be evacuated. Streets buckled, harbors shifted, buildings became unsafe overnight. Today's uplift is slower, but it is steady, persistent, and building over time. And what makes this even more complicated is that the uplift doesn't just come from magma. Much of it comes from the enormous hydrothermal system beneath the city. When steam and gas build pressure, they push the surface upward. When that pressure forces its way into new cracks, homes heat from below. When fractures open in ancient walls, it's not just age, it's the earth pushing back. Scientists monitor Campi Flegre more closely than almost any other volcano on the planet. Dozens of instruments record every tiny tremor, every millimeter of uplift, every shift in temperature, every change in gas composition. Satellites scan the caldera from space. Boreholes take measurements from deep underground. The monitoring is constant because the system is active, evolving, and unpredictable. The science community is open about this. Campi Flegre is in a heightened state of unrest, not at eruption level, not at evacuation level, but undeniably restless. And while measurements and reports are important, the people who live here experience the changes directly. They're the first to feel a warm wall, the first to notice a floor rising, the first to hear tiny cracks forming in the silence of the night. For them, this isn't theory, it's daily life. A grandmother hanging laundry can feel a tremor pass under her feet, a child doing homework at the kitchen table can hear the glass in the cupboard rattle. A shop owner can find a new crack across his storefront window and know exactly why it's there. Life goes on, cooking, working, laughing, talking, but always with the awareness that the ground beneath you is shifting. The amphitheater wall cracking is more than a piece of ancient architecture failing. It is a symbol of the pressure building beneath the surface. When stone built nearly 2,000 years ago begins to split, it's not because the stone got weaker. It's because the violent, restless power beneath it got stronger. The people of Pozzuoli live inside that power. They walk on it every day. They sleep on top of it every night. And even if the volcano never erupts in their lifetime, the activity they feel is real and it is reshaping their city inch by inch. So what is the final truth? No scientist is predicting an imminent eruption. No one is calling for the city to evacuate, but the signals are real, the changes are happening, the volcano is moving beneath the surface, and everything above it feels the movement. A cracking wall is never just a wall in a volcanic caldera. A warm house is never just a heating issue. A swarm of tiny earthquakes is never just random coincidence. Every crack, every tremor, every rising inch of ground is part of a larger story. And right now, that story is clear. Campi Flegre is restless and the 